pace. Uh, but I didn't get to see Nathaniel Askew. How, how did he Yeah, look? Askew scored a big four early, held position the entire match, kind of shut it down, and won a 4-4 on criteria. So maybe two clashing styles. Sounds like it. Uh, we'll see how that how it plays out. Yeah, as this might, you know, my prediction is as this match wears on, Wolbert's pace will become a factor. I don't know if he'll if he'll win, but you're gonna see. I think you're gonna see that happen as the match wears along. Ask you from Georgia. He's wearing a Tar Heel Wrestling Club singlet. There's a shot. Wolbert on the edge. Ask you. Bout puts him on his back. Ends up getting a takedown instead. It's two zero. Now Askew looking for a gut wrench. He's got this lock pretty tight. Wolbert trying to defend and come back to their feet. Minute 16. Yeah, Askew, you know, I said he held position, but he also really, at, towards the end, started conceding ground and gave up a couple cautions. So he's going to need to be careful, not just holding on to the lead, trying to continue to score as the match progresses. Minute to go, first period. Wolbert picking up that hand fight, picking up his pace. There's that collar tie. Wolbert moving forward, looking snaps. You can tell Wolbert does not like that wrist control of Askew. Now two on one for Askew. Slowing Wolbert's pace a little bit. Wolbert clears it. Twenty-five to go. Shot. Wolbert. Askew catches it coming in. He's in a head pinch position. Wolbert trying to force that elbow inside so that Askew loses the leverage. Thirteen seconds to go in the first. Zero ask you. So far, his positioning has prevented yeah. Wolbert from being able to really open things up. Yeah, and you know that we've, we've kind of said throughout the finals, only two, those two minute periods, if you got good defense, if you're able to hold good position, you don't have much time on the other side to get your offense going. Wolbert, of course, Ben Askren in the corner, part of that Askren Wrestling Academy. He didn't compete, compete for several months during his high school career. He, just a sophomore, but had a significant injury. Kept him off the mat for a lot of last summer and fall. So good to see him back in a tournament like this. Minute 35, hard fakes there from Wolbert. Wolbert in on a shot. Askew trying to defend, and Wolbert got to be careful here. Oh, Wolbert, they're saying Askew stepped out first, and there was a significant exchange after that happened. So 2-1, Wolbert scores his first point of the match. Okay, all right. But he's still going to need to get to three. Yep. Because of Askew's takedown there, holding criteria if Wolbert gets another step out. That grip of Askew is tough, and this time it's on the fingers, and they're going to warn him on that. Wolbert continues to come forward. Now he's in on a shot, head inside, looking to elevate Askew, and he puts him down. Nice it's 3 finish. 2. Wolbert in the lead. 50 seconds left, and Wolbert looking for this lace. He's got. A lock with the knees together, but doesn't have the ankles laced up. And now he's got him. This could, oh! Right before he went with it, whistled up. He needed to get that just a split second sooner. 38 to go. Big shot and into the under the table. Two. Two offered, and I, I didn't see yeah. whether or not Wolper was able to get his chest down, but apparently he was. Uh, because I didn't see it because he was under the table, so. 4-3 now. 
Wolbert now in on a single leg. Askew, good defense here. Wolbert needs to adjust, 15 seconds left. Wolbert comes up. Wolbert looking to go double overs. Seven seconds. And arm spin attempt, they're gonna call a slip. Two seconds left though, Askew, as long as he can stay in good position, he's gonna take match one. Shot Wolbert runs out of time. So it's Nathaniel Askew, the winner in match number one. Yeah, big win for Askew there. And you know, you didn't see offense from him throughout the match, but when he needed it, he got to it and was able to do enough to take match one. I'm really curious to see how match two is gonna play out there. Yeah, me too, a little familiarity. Should make it a little more fun. And we got 70 kilos coming up next, and this is an interesting one, a real clash of styles. Uh, I saw Kyler Kanak over there, and, and the, yeah. the, the points were Kellen Wolbert in the blue. Askew in on another big shot, just like he was in match one. And he gets a takedown, looking for an exposure as well, but wasn't able to get it. 2-0, Askew in the lead, and he's working on a gut wrench. Can Wolbert defend? The power from Askew was noticeable advantage for him in match number one. Yeah, and he's dangerous. When he chooses to go, I mean, he can, it seems like he can score when he wants, but likes to also kind of hold position. And we saw it in the first match. Wolbert got a lead late, but as soon as he did, Askew responded and took over. Hard snaps there from Wolbert. Wolbert relies a lot on his pace, but Askew's positioning helped him stay in that match. A lot of times, pace also means Wolbert's getting guys out of position and taking them off the mat, but it was not the case in this match. A minute gone by. Shot, Wolbert. Askew now takes another attack and that elbow control threatened the exposure as White paddled. It's going to be a step out. Askew pulled him up. 3 0 now. Wolbert running forward on an attack and trying to take Askew near the edge. Oh, oh a little pancake attempt. Oh, almost. Jeez, great defense there from Askew. A lesser man would have gone to his back. Yeah. So Askew holds the 3-0 lead into the break, and we've been talking about it, his positioning, his defense. 3-0 might feel like a little bit more if you're Wolbert here. Yeah, you gotta imagine. He He's the, back to the center with 10 seconds to spare. You got the uh, AWA guys up in the stands here. They're fired up. Wolbert coming forward. There's that double leg, switches to a single. Really pursuing this. Man, circling him all the way around the mat. Point went on the board for Wolbert for a second, and I was really confused, but no points. No points. You gotta imagine you're gonna see Askew go on the clock here pretty soon if Wolbert keeps pushing the pace. Now though, Askew taking more ground in the center. Oh, nice little throw yeah. by. Yeah, kind of over pursued, pursued a position where he didn't really have uh, good, good control there. Askew still kind of held on to the arm. 
seemed like Wolbert maybe shot with, with one arm. Yeah, and against a guy as tough as Askew, that's, that's a bad idea. 45 to go. Askew in control here. That's gonna seal the deal, likely. Wolbert's gonna fight here, but Askew can hold him for the rest of the match right in this position. Short time left, and Nathaniel Askew, very impressive. He's on the world team at 65 kilos. Congrats to him. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Man, really impressive stuff. Great positioning and some, some really good explosive offense for him too. That pancake, I saw him hit that a couple times. Great two match series. To take out somebody like Wolbert in two straight matches.